If you enjoy a delicious muffin with a nice cup of tea or just a snack at home or work, but often feel guilty about the amount of sugar in these nibbles, then take a look at this healthy carrot cake recipe. Hello everyone, I'm Christine Phillips from Health Yourself. I'm a certified health coach and wellness chef. Well, today I want to chat to you about muffins. They are so versatile. Muffins you can have in lunch boxes, you can have them for breakfast, you can have them as a little snack. However, they can be a little bit fattening um, and they can also cause a lot of bloating. So today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely carrot cake muffin, but a healthier version. So um, using gluten-free flour, using not a lot of sugar and making sure that it's super healthy for you and it lands up turning into a nutritious breakfast as well. So these muffins are gluten-free and they are dairy-free as well. So the first thing I've done is I've taken flax seeds and I've ground them. This is going to be my egg mixture. So instead of using my eggs, I am going to use flax seeds, which I've put in about 60 mils of water. And then you just let it soak for about five minutes and it becomes nice and thick. And that is going to be your binding ingredient for your muffins. I'm actually gonna pop that in because this is basically my eggs. And as you can see, they are a bit thicker. Another added sweetness is going to be my banana. I'm pop banana in and a little bit of apple. So these are all the things I'm going to be using to give the sweetness as opposed to having a whole cup of sugar, which is in a lot of um, the carrot cake recipes. All right, the other ingredient is I'm going to put just a little bit of cinnamon, salt and a bit of baking powder. Now we're just going to mix all our wet ingredients up here. Just gently combine them all. Now the other thing that makes this quite healthy, as opposed to a regular carrot cake recipe, is we're going to put coconut oil in as well. So we're gonna combine that, give it a good mix. As you can see, it all looks divine. And that just makes it really nice and um, moist. Okay. The next is going to be your almond milk or your coconut milk, whatever you prefer. All right, you put about half a cup of that and mix that up. Okay. So what I've got here is some gluten-free flour. Okay, pop that in. We've also got a bit of coconut flour as well. You can use almond flour, whatever you prefer. I've also got some lovely gluten-free rolled oats. I'm gonna add that in. And I've got a little bit of coconut sugar as well. So just a little bit, we don't need a lot of that. So you just follow that recipe. Right, let's just fold this in nicely. And what I love about this recipe is you can actually make the muffins and then you can freeze them and just take them out um, whenever you want them. You know, I'm all about having very versatile things that, you know, is easy, um, that you can just basically make a lot of, pop it in the freezer and pull it out when you need it. I'm gonna add some beautiful carrots into this. We've grated carrots and I've got some walnuts. You can either use pecan nuts if you want, or cashews or almonds, whatever you prefer. Walnuts are really, really super healthy for you um, and contain a lot of um, amigas as well. Okay, we're just gonna combine this. As you can see, this is a super, super nutrient muffin here. If you would like to change things up with your muffin recipes, you know, you can always add, instead of using carrots, you can add courgettes. Um, you can add even grated broccoli, can you believe it? Um, just for something completely different. So you can take the base of any muffin recipe and then um, just turn it into your own special creation. All right, we've mixed that up quite nicely. Right, now, make sure that you have sprayed your muffin container. And then I use a little ice cream scoop for these things. It's much easier. I'm just gonna scoop all of these in, but otherwise you can get your children to scoop them all in for you. Um, but this is nice and quick. And you can make them quite big or small, whatever you prefer. There we go. And with Mother's Day coming up, this is also a great thing to do um, and to make for mom for Mother's Day, because then you know mom's having something super healthy as well. So there we go. 
I am going to pop these into the oven for about 20 minutes on 170 degrees. Okay. So these are the amazing carrot cake muffins that I made earlier today. As you can see, they're lovely little size, the perfect size for eating a muffin, not those super, super huge ones. Um, and these are gonna be great for Mother's Day. They're gonna be great in lunch boxes. You can actually have them with a little bit of butter if you want, some cream cheese, or they are just simply amazing on their own. You can grab the recipe from our website, which is healthyourself.co.za, and I hope you enjoy them. Um, try your own variations, um, and do share them on Instagram if you can. Otherwise, that's it from me, Christine Phillips. Stay safe and stay healthy.